Hey, welcome back to our channel. We are Sam and Kelly, and together we've been traveling in our self-converted van for almost an entire year. And this week, it's time to make some upgrades and changes to our tiny home on wheels. Come along as we get back into building, make some major mistakes. Ugh, that was a bad idea. And let you know exactly how much this all costs. Let's go. Hey, Dad. Yeah, it's good to talk to you, too. I know I'm your favorite kid. I know, I know. I might have forgotten the keys to the house, so do you think you could open the garage for us? Perfect, thank you. Woo. It's time to start the renos. So we wouldn't be a YouTube van couple if we didn't have a giant unnecessary sign that we made. So this is going to be our checklist for hopefully, this will only take us a week, but be honest it might take us a little bit longer but as you can see the top priority is a closet we have decided to take this beautiful little seating area that as you may have seen has become kind of just a collect all space and we are going to turn this into a giant closet which i am so excited about because it will give us room for our paddle board maybe some outdoor gear and i have figured out a way to still incorporate plants we were in baja california for three and a half months and baja give it but Baja taketh. So there's definitely some things on this list that are just fixing that will be quick fixes. So this will be Sam and Kelly's van 2.0. I'm also very high energy because I have this giant cup of coffee today. So we're gonna be in some good moods. But first we have to clean off all of this stuff. Let's go. Oh, oh my God. One of my favorite parts of our builds, but I think this is gonna be way more useful. So trusting the process. Wait, do we tape this in? No, just pull it. You gotta pop it. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Good thing that's okay. gonna be covered up. We're gonna try and really think hard and figure out what's gonna go in each little cubby that we're gonna build so we can build it perfectly. 51 and a half. By the way, we're working at Sam's parents' house out of their workshop, which you might recognize if you saw our original van build series here on YouTube, where we built our entire van here. Wow, beautiful. Okay. We cut a piece of wood. Step one, complete. Step two, make it work. A fun little thing about sprinter vans is they have curved walls. So a lot of our cuts need to be curved. If you have ever built with wood before, you know it is quite difficult. It's another reason why our original build took so long. So we'll, we'll get through it. this. Project manager, how do you think our progress is? <laughs> All right, now it's time for the lights. These lights are like fluorescent, so they're really bright and they really give you a headache, but these ones are supposedly warm, so we're going to start replacing them. And I'm not an electrician, so let's see if we can do this. Ooh. Ready for this? Ooh. We got a light, baby! Kelly, good job. Woo! Wow, look at the difference between that and the other lights. My first light that I've ever connected. Kelly, you're an electrician. This is so satisfying Woo! because when we built our van, we didn't really do the electricity. We had help on it. We did some of it, but not all of it. Yeah, not, so none of the lights. So we didn't connect any of the lights. So like to learn that skill is insane. And it's also, so much easier than you think. I kind of feel like Sunny's not doing anything to help. We were this close to being able to cross something off our giant list, but unfortunately the wires are so short in that hole right there for the light and we don't have any more connections. So both of those things combined have made it very difficult to put that last light in. This is just the craziness of building. Everything takes two to three times as long as you predict. So we've recruited my dad to help us with the curve. He just got off work. In theory, we should be able to match the curve. We made a board with a hole and a little curve. And we put the pencil at the edge so that we would give up the least amount of wood. And now if we go like this, we should be able to match the curve perfectly. It makes sense, but we've never done it before. It's a good time to start now when the prices of wood are never been higher. So without further ado, it is time to do the curve. I'm a little scared. We're gonna 
see if bars and tones pop up or if we're good. It's the end of the day. It is peanut butter finger in peanut butter jar kind of time of day. I'm feeling really good. I really wanted to give up earlier because I was tired, but Kelly kept us going. So we got almost <laughs> every light switched out and we got the hardest part of the closet done. Literally the most difficult part, the curb. The rest of it, it's not easy, but it's going to be easier. We're calling it. We will see you all on the next day of the build. Bye. Bye. Oh, welcome back to a new day of van building. Today we are hoping to make some major headway on this gorgeous soon-to-be closet over <laughs> here. Yesterday we got Sam a suit for our wedding, so that's exciting. <laughs> Let's get to the build because we have a lot to do. First things first is we are laying out the curved pieces of wood that you saw us cut yesterday, and we are trying to just visualize how everything is going to work. We wrote on each section what we want each section to be. It seems like the paddle board fits really nicely right here. And then we might need to just get screwing in here. <laughs> Love pocket screws. Time to paint with the color Beach House. Because we got a Beach House on wheels, baby. While we wait for this to dry, so while we're waiting for those panels to dry, we're going to try and attempt to knock off something off our checklist, the nightstand. This is what we call our nightstand. And on the outside, it looks like it's all good to go, but when you open it, the Baja Reds has split our support strut here. So we have nowhere to screw in our hinge. So I'm gonna have to cut this off and put in a new piece of wood right here. And this is part of the, just fixing up things that broke. I think we can knock this out pretty quick. <laughs> that was so easy. Where's that list? Day two building. Nightstand. Yeah! Next up is fixing our rattan cabinet faces. It is so triggering at night when we're laying down and I'm staring up at our cabinets and I see that the rattan has fallen in so many of these spots. It's so annoying. So we're gonna fix that today with, can you hear me it? With some fabric spray upholstery adhesive. Clearly, it's not the strongest thing ever. I maybe should be stapling it, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do this again. Pray and spray. Spray and pray. Checking another thing off the list. No, I just made a hole. No, no! <laughs> Time for some shelves. Getting to that point of the day where we are just going for it. We're trying our best to measure twice and cut once, but I think we're just gonna start going for it. Sam didn't mention is he is going to freehand this cut because one side of the wall is 15 inches and then the front side of the wall is 14. So it slightly curves in, so it's a freehand curved line right now. I think he's a genius. <gasps> uh, good job, this is actually really cool. So this shelf worked out amazingly. So now let's test our luck and do a freehand cut one more time. Let's see if it worked as well as the first one. <laughs> I would say it does. We're back. Woo, <laughs> another day of van building. Yesterday we accomplished two things. You. We have established a new shower caddy in the shower and we have started to clean our cushion covers, which was absolutely necessary. 100%. And they're gonna look a different color now that they're <laughs> washed. And now we just have to finish this big closet. Pulled up, made my appearance. So right now we are going to be putting a little furring strip right in the middle here because we're gonna have two doors that open up. So it's not just one massive door to open up the entire closet. So we can have a place for the doors to actually have a magnet catcher so they don't just fly open when we're driving. Sonny, where should we cut this? Right there. Yeah, I think so. You dude. measured it so good. 
101, this ain't made yet. My game never playing, but we came off the same jet. I'ma need a section cause we tryna make them bottles pop Shot to see the team and how we drippin' made a body rock Told the DJ play my shit cause I know that we gotta pop But I ain't finna pass it, I'ma flip it, bitch, we got it We have all the furring strips calibrated and ready to go I don't even know if calibrated is the right word And we are gonna start with some wood glue Because we always glue and screw Hop out the whip, call up a valet Okay, we got them all in. All the little furring strips we need. Now is the exciting part, which is making the doors for the closet. Just addressing bank rolls, sipping on tequila, counting pesos. Never catch me public with the same clothes. The top is where my name. Oh, that's the wrong piece. We're running into some roadblocks and mistakes today, which means we may have to go to the store and buy more lumber, which is what we are trying to avoid because it's so expensive now. We will give the grand total at the end, but this closet is costing a lot more than you might imagine. I'm gonna need a section because we're trying to make them bottles pop. Try to see the team and how we trip and made a bottle pop. Told the DJ play my shit because I know that we got to pop, but I ain't finna pass it. I'm a fool, bitch. We got a lot. Trying to gas me up, but she could barely move the needle. Hoppers always hating because they trying to do what we do. I know I'm gonna make it because I need to. We went to the depot, we got the goods, and now it's time to actually get this project finished. Hopefully, kind of. First things first, let's trace out the back panel of the door. Get up. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. We have a door. Really puts into perspective how tall the closet is. Wow. Time to figure out the hinges. Oh my gosh, come take a look. Show us. Not oh. bad. Not great, but not bad. <laughs> I would say we're now 75% done. So, it's another day of van building. The overalls are on, so you know it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna get a lot done. But first, we gotta get set up. I love being the filmer because then I'm like, oh, I guess you're gonna have to set up on your own. You're gonna have to clean up on your own because someone's gotta film, you know? First, we're going to install this spring strip right here so that the door has something to hold on to. You know what we always say. Now that we have this spring strip in, it's time to make this door right here. We have completed the door, but now we have to install the hinges. One of the tricky parts of putting these hinges in is you wanna get as close to the edge as possible, but you don't want it to break. So we made this little template right here of what it was too close. This was our test right here. Basically, I just have to go literally one dash above this. So mm -hmm. I've been kind of using that as my guide. It's been working for three of them, but we have one more to do. Do you think you could put these in your pocket, Kel? You think I have a pocket? Keep safe. If this fits, then another massive breakthrough has happened. Woo! Good job, babe. Yes. This is the most dangerous cut we've done yet. Not bad. Not bad. So our doors are in. You might notice that they are not twins. They are sisters, you know? And that is just fine. <laughs> but I love it, it looks amazing. I'm really excited to paint it now, sand it, do the whole shebang. Good morning, everyone. Morning. It is a Friday. And hopefully the last day of this project. We are in amazing spirits because we feel really good about our progress. Also, what we're standing in front of right now is the teardrop trailer. You might've seen it in some other shots in this video. This is a teardrop trailer that Sam and his dad actually built. And we will link that video up here and in the description below. So if you're into vans, RVs, all that, this teardrop trailer build is really, really sweet. You should totally. check it out. But anyways, let's get to work and hopefully we can finish this closet. We're going to. 
one here. is going to be right here, correct? Yes. Like right at that line? Yeah, and that will be like outdoor stuff. So our shelves for the first part of the closet are cut and prepped and ready to go. We are now going to split this wood in half so we can use these as lips because we need to have some type of lip. So when we're driving, things aren't just flying out. So we're going to split this and get it going. <laughs> Our project manager said it's way too hot out today. Hard to manage us when you're so sweaty, Tony. Kelly, does this look straight to you? Yeah, pretty much. Good enough. Fuck, that was a bad idea. We have to remove the L brackets. Actually, it's such a snug fit that it has to be off before we can put it on. So try again. <laughs> Delivery, delivery, delivery. Be a me mama. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Woo. Curtain rod right on. Look at that. That's not going anywhere. Sweet. And this whole side is now donezo. You want it to be right here, right? This lip? Yeah. And we did it! I got my painting pajamas on. I got the new Florence and the Machine album going. And now it's time to sand and paint. This will match my tattoo back here. Little strawberry handles for the doors. I think they're just too cute for words. We're having such a hard time figuring out these magnet catchers, but I think we have a solution. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> The only way we can figure this out is to get the perfect measurement. So I have the pencil in here and I'm drawing where the magnet catcher is from inside. My ankles are breaking because this is uh, a contortionist uh, move. Okay, hopefully this works. So basically I was like putting my eye and my pencil right here and marking <laughs> when the door was closed because that's the part we couldn't figure out. Yeah. Okay. Let's cross off the biggest thing we did this week. Wow. Good job, babe. Okay, that is it for Sam and Kelly's van 2.0 renovation. Mm. We are pretty much done. We actually added some really cute handles and some plants to our closet, a mirror, but we will show you that next week. The grand total for all of this was $450. Insane. And that includes obviously like the hinges, the handles, the whole works, the plants, mm -hmm. all the designs and the closet and the paint. It's not just wood. True still wild. I hope you guys liked this building video. A lot of stress, but I think it turned out awesome. Yeah. And also the vibes in here will forever be better because these lights are a game changer. And we are really excited because next week we'll have a brand new video for you on Sundays, always going to be back in the van traveling. And we can't wait to announce where we are going next for our big van road trip. So if you have any guesses, leave them below. Comment I'm below. very curious to see if you can guess right. And if you want daily updates you can follow us on instagram at sam and kelly's van thank you guys so much for watching we hope we inspire you and make you smile cannot wait to see you next week bye bye